this short video, I want to highlight Gale Power Search and Gale InfoBits for potential translation options for kids that are English language learners. So first, I'm going to open up Gale Databases. You're going to find that I have all my databases selected. I'm going to choose Science for right now. And I'm going to search for States of Matter. And then what I want to do is I've selected full text documents. I can also choose peer reviewed journals. And if I select an article, you'll notice it'll open up. Here's my article on the different states of matter. I can adjust the font size, I can listen, but this is what's of uh, interest, the translate option. I can choose what I want to translate this into, and it will then translate the article into the language of choice. You will notice there is a disclaimer at the top saying this is a machine translation, and it is for convenience only, and it is not intended to replace human translation. If you go over to Kids Info Bits, It also has a similar feature where I'm going to go down to science again. I'm going to choose earth science. From here I'm going to go to fossils. And then I can select a topic on fossils. Again, it will read aloud to me. I have the full text, but you'll see over on the right side this time it has a translate article option. And so I can then choose that and it will translate the text into Japanese. And although you do not see a disclaimer, it is still the same where this, up oh, here it is. That you do need to have, this is a machine translation and it is for convenience only. I also have a translate option within Google Docs. So I'm within a Google document right now. And if I go to tools, I can click on translate document. I can choose the language that I would like. I can select Translate, and it is going to open up a new Google document within the target language. So I hope you find these tools helpful for supporting students with ELL needs. Let me know if you have any questions.